Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to create a Telegram bot using Python step by step. So, let's get started. Step 1. Get bot API token from Telegram. Then, log into your Telegram account and search for Botfather. Then click on the first search result which is verified. Then click on start button. Then click on new bot. This will create a new bot for you. Now, choose a name for your bot. I will name it, simple telegram bot. Now, choose a username for your bot. After so many tries I found out a username which is not already registered. After entering your username you will finally get your API key. Step 2. Installing Python Telegram Bot Library. Open your terminal and type pip install python-telegram-bot and hit enter. This will install the library. Step 3. Creating Python script for Telegram Bot. First, we will import all the required modules from the Telegram bot library. You will know more about all the modules used later in this video. Then we will create main function. Then we will create an API variable and store the API token value generated in step 1. Go to bot father and click on the API token. It will copy it to your clipboard. Then we will add an updater to the code. Its function is to receive updates from Telegram and deliver them to the user. Then we will add updater.dispatcher to a variable. Its function is to dispatch all kinds of updates to the Telegram bot. Then we will add a command handler. It will handle the messages that start with the slash command. So, command handler takes two main parameters. First, we will write the command name and after that, we will write the callback function name. So, now whenever a user types slash start, it will run the start function. Then we will create the start function. So what this function does is that when it is called, it will update the message in the form of text as we have used reply text. You can reply in other formats like photo and audio. Then we will add a message handler. It will receive all messages from the user. We have used filters because it specifies the type of message you want to handle. Here we are using filters.text so it will run the reply function when user replies in text form. Then we will create the reply function. It contains a query variable that will store the user's message and a username variable that will store the first name of user that we will use later. Then we will create a dictionary that will store commands and replies. Here we will use the username that we have passed above. So whenever the user enters hi, it will reply hello, then the username of the user. Then we will add a for loop. It will check if the user query is in the dictionary keys. If yes, then it will send the value for that particular key and break the for loop. Else it will send a sorry message. At last, we will start the updater. So, updater.start polling will start the bot. It will run continuously. If you want, you can set an interval. Then, updater.idle will block the program until one of the signals is received and stops the updater. Finally, we will call the main function. And it will start the bot. Step 4. Running and testing Python script. Here is the final code. Let's run it. Now, Let's start the bot by clicking on start button. You can see that it is replying. Great! The bot is working. Let's try other commands. I will copy, how are you? Let's see if it works or not. Yay! You can see that it is replying, I'm fine thank you. It is giving the same reply as that in the dictionary. Let's try another command. I will copy, what's your name? And paste it to Telegram bot. 
and you can see that it is replying, my name is SB Developer. Let's type, bye. You can see that it is replying, see you. So, that's it for this video. If you guys like my content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.